I have the honor to present to the President of the University the candidate for the degrees of Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering and Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering. I had my own category in graduation. <laughs> and Maya Beach, magna cum laude. Anne was the first woman to be both a mechanical engineer and an electrical engineer graduate at St. Thomas. And that's something that we all took pride in and wanted to work together as a team, faculty, staff, and students to make happen. The engineering professors cared so much about me and my career. They were willing to do things a little bit more unconventional to help me achieve the dream that I ultimately had. I'm an assistant professor at the University of Texas at Dallas, and my research is in the area of surgical robotics. We hope to improve human health by designing robotic systems that are easier and more intuitive to use. Being an engineer coming out of a liberal arts institution allows our students to frame their work in a much larger context. The education that I had at St. Thomas that, that made me think about things beyond just you know the technical engineering aspect led me down this whole idea of doing healthcare right in engineering for healthcare and to improve human health through engineering. We want to graduate students like Anne who are using their technical know-how in solving some of the things that are directly going to impact our lives. Building robots that are going to make surgery more efficient, medically safer. That is the kind of work we want our students to be doing. The same passion that I take to my research is what I take to the classroom. I didn't really know that you could have a career where you're really doing things that nobody's ever done before. And then when you do that and you're excited about that, you want to be able to get other people excited about it. <laughs>